What's the word everybody? It's your boy Jay Sites and I'm back with another tutorial. And today, I'm about to teach y'all how to do this cool looking distort chroma effect right here, man. Man, you probably seen this in other places before, but you haven't seen it like this before. You feel what I'm saying? I'm about to show y'all like how we really sourcing this up and how we can really get the most of our sapphire effects and after effects, you feel me? When you get into after effects, the first, the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna rotoscope out your subject. So let me just get up in here and get the rotoscope on this man out. All right, so once you finish up your rotoscope, um, we're not gonna do anything with the feathering, maybe 15% and we're gonna freeze it. So now, once we freeze that rotoscope, let's uh, come up out of here. Let's come up, go back to our composition. Let's click our selection tool by pressing V. And now let's add a refine edge tool. And let's make that additional edge radius 6%. The smooth 12, feather 12. Now let's duplicate it so we don't lose the background. Sorry. Let's delete everything. And then let's pre comp that rotoscope clip. And now let's duplicate that. And on this bottom one, right? Let's solo this and let's add fill. And let's change this fill to a white. And let's add echo. And for these echo settings, we're gonna change this zero, negative 0 0.03 to negative 0 0.053. And we're gonna change the echoes to eight. And we're gonna make the decay 0 0.7. And inside the beginning of your clip, right? We're gonna make a keyframe at the starting intensity. Let's hit U on our keyboards and let's move that keyframe to the middle. And then while we still have our cursor over the first key, no, the first frame of this shot, we're gonna just change this intensity to zero. Feel me? So now you got this coming in. Now you have a mat. So what we're gonna do with this mat is, right? We're gonna just turn it off and drag it to the bottom. Rename it mat. And now on your roto layer, we're gonna add an adjustment layer and we're gonna add distort chroma. So now on the distort chroma layer, we're gonna change the lens to the matte layer, which is six effects, this, and then this. And now you see we got a blobby version of a uh, Vaughn from 1700. So we're just gonna take the main subject. Let's name this name so we can be a little more organized and bring it to the top of the adjustment layer. So now we have this little distorted situation going on here. So let's clean this up by going into the adjustment layer and on our adjustment layer, we're going to change this blur lens to around 3K and let's add blur on the map. And let's up the amount to like 1.5. And let's make a keyframe in the same area as the echoes. So on that adjustment layer, let's make the keyframe on the amount and keep that at 1.5. And let's have this at zero. All right, so now if you want this to look a little better, you can rotate it. Rotate it in the position that you want. Play with the X and the X and Y rail. I don't know what that means. X, it says a mount rail. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the hell that means, but uh, yeah, we just play with these numbers. Uh, preferably, I would mess with something that's like stretching out the subject, right? And then on the same layer, now that we have this like looking all stretchy and ready to like get chrome it out and zoomed into the transition. Let's uh, add some glow. So go into your effects control panel and search for glow, S glow. I recommend sci-fi glow because you're able to adjust it to the mat. I'm sorry, you're able to pin it to the mat so you can change the background to the mat. Effects, mat, effects and mask. And now you see, we got some glow going on in the background. If we turn down the threshold, it's like on the background of our subject. So we're gonna come down to this invert mat, and now it's on the rest of our shot. So maybe we could boost the, uh, the threshold up some more and maybe the brightness. 
and we're gonna keyframe that as well. But when we keyframe this, we're gonna keyframe it from two, and we're gonna keyframe it at the last up into the last uh, frame of this shot. So we're gonna up the intensity to about five, and then. This is, uh, you don't have to do this, but you know, this is, I'm gonna just add this in here. If you add my preset, right? My chroma. If you add my chroma flash preset, it complements the hell out of this effect for real. So, hold on. All right? So let me turn on this adjustment layer. And let's go into the middle of these two clicks and let's just boost the exposure and then and if you want, you could just bring this back a little bit. And boom. That's how you do that. You feel what I'm saying? If you enjoyed this tutorial, I'm going to need y'all to drop a like, comment, subscribe. And make sure y'all tap in for more. I got mad tutorials on the way. And I'm just blowing through these things, bro. So, yeah, man. Peace out. Much love to y'all. J-Sites, baby.